get the most reach from each of your Instagram posts. Hi, my name is Sue B. Zimmerman, and today I am going to show you how you can pin your Instagram posts. Yes, you can pin them, and you don't have to do it by going into Pinterest and falling down the Pinterest hole of gorgeous photos and staying there for two hours. This is a really efficient way to do it. You want to go over to Statagram. When you open up Statagram, this is what it looks like. Be sure to put the pin it button in your browser, click on the pin it button, and now each of your images that you've created in Instagram are pinnable. How cool is that, right? Oh, let me take this cute video here, flying Instagram gal, and you can pin it to the board of your choice. So I am going to have this go over to Instagram gal. And you can write a description right here. And this is from a conference I did in New Jersey. So I'm just going to name it Gift Think Tank Inspiration and pin it. It's that simple. Oh, I'll do one more and then we'll go look at them on Pinterest. So, okay, let's do Marie Forleo because she just rocks my world. I got a girl crush on her. I think everybody does that knows who she is. So, okay, so we're going to pin that. I just opened it up, but we're going to pin that post. And I believe I have a board called People Who Inspire, People I Admire. Okay, so let's change this to Marie Forleo, B School. And I am an alum of B School and a big fan of Marie Forleo. So now I'm going to pin that. Okay, so let's look at that in Pinterest. So when you open it up, it takes you right over to your Pinterest boards. You can send it, you can share it to Facebook or Twitter. And now remember, this all originated right in Statagram. So once you start using Instagram, you can link it to your Statagram account. And Statagram is just a really great place to look at all of your data, to assess when people are engaging, what filters you're using that most people enjoy, um, looking at the pictures that you create, and really assessing all the activity right within your feed. But today we're just really talking about how you can pin your Instagram post. Okay, so check it out. And I hope you have a lot of fun and become more efficient with your social media strategies because when you start an Instagram, you can share it to Pinterest, you can share it to Facebook, you can share it to Twitter, and you can even share it to Foursquare. Again, my name is Sue B. Zimmerman, and I'm excited that you're here. Come on and subscribe to my YouTube channel and come over to SueBZimmerman.com where I share how to promote your business using online tips and strategies specifically by using Instagram.